What is up, Terrarians and Car Crate members? Welcome back to another episode of Fargo Soul Mod. Today, we're going to be taking on Moon Lord, and that is going to be it. If, if we can't beat Moon Lord quick enough, this is going to be an entire episode of just deaths. I have an uh, attempt counter to our left. I'm calling it an attempt counter because who wants to call it a death counter? I don't because I'd be depressed by the end of it. If we have 30 attempts, it sounds a lot better than 30 deaths. So let's go ahead and get into it. Why not? I'm feeling pretty great about today. Uh, I feel refreshed. I'm excited. Uh, it's a brand new week ahead of us. I hope you all had a fantastic weekend. This is going to be a terrible start because this is my first time fighting this after an entire weekend of not farming this or fighting this. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to die in literally seconds. But that's all right. I want to try a different method uh, than I've, I have been trying. A lot of you, or one particular dude uh, who has said he's beaten this multiple times and has been able to no hit this, uh, is an absolute mad lad. But he said that he doesn't actually use the essence and that it wouldn't be necessary to switch through each one. Now, technically, nothing is necessary while fighting in Terraria. You could technically do this with a copper short sword. But that doesn't matter, all right? Oh, gosh, we're going to die. This is the end. I, I do want to focus today. I do want to make sure I'm getting some really good attempts in. But see here, is it more important than hanging out with my dudes? I don't think so. I just realized I was using a melee weapon that entire time. Well, that was just absolutely dumb of me. Let me go ahead and switch out my stuff. Oh my gosh. All right, look at that. We weren't even using a ranged weapon and we were still doing this well. Amazing. And we just got hit. Let me see if I can get a nurse cheese heal. Bada boom, bada bing. Who needs, what's it called? Uh, auto pause, because I don't. Uh, that's how legendary today is going to be. I feel like this is such a terrible idea. <laughs> oh my gosh. I literally just said we don't have auto pause and I tried to auto pause. All right, spawn in our Stardust Dragon. Perfecto. Frost Hydra Slaps, why not? All the more, the better. I found out there's actually not any penalties for using these buffs, technically. Like, I thought, like, you would be penalized for using weapons that aren't the specific class. Technically, yes, they don't do more damage, but they're still, like, really good weapons, if that makes sense. Like, they still do damage. Oh, a little bit. Just not as much. Okay, what is this? What is this phase? Because this is not any particular... Fragment, right? Is that what I'm seeing? Okay, Moon Lord Laser would be dead by now normally if I was focusing and I'm not. If my mouse seems a little uh, fidgety today, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know I actually have a new mouse that I'm using. So I'm trying to figure out the DPI still. But other than that, this is probably one of the longest I've ever survived in these fights. This is nice. Oh, gotta do that. Quick movements, quick hands. We're now back into the solar phase, which is good for us. Come on, please just die already. Oh, we got a lot of those coming at us. All right, perfect. Look at that. We're able to dodge it. He just healed for a thousand, it looked like. That's pretty neat. You'll love to see that. And we also have our beetle enchantment on, right, by the way. Uh, I forgot to show over my accessories. So we have the beetle enchantment, and then I'm trying the orichalcum uh, enchantment to see how we would do with the extra damage booth. Ooh, there you go. All right, come on. Show me that eyeball. Let's delete this thing. Just die, please. Get me out of here. Oh my gosh, I'm dying. Okay, Moon Lord's core is now open. Fantastic. What a time to be alive. Okay, I did not hear that metal clicking. Apparently, there's a metal click I need to be looking out for for when losers or things get shot at me. Oh my gosh, where's my mage weapons? There they are. How are we doing, mage? We're doing just dandy, just all right. Perfect. Oh my gosh, our dodging is impeccable. Okay, we're this is this is going so well, guys. I know this ain't I know this is not possible, but what if we one shot this? What if today we just decided to beat it? Oh, okay. Then I made movement like that. Then that okay. I'm making movements like this now, and this is not good. This is not beneficial for our health, for living. This is not a good time. Can we uh, spread back out? Oh, okay, yeah, that's good. No, that's fine. Oh, I just clicked off my screen for some reason. And now I'm below my arena. This is fantastic. And I'm dead. All right. Well, that's the first attempt. Look at that. Attempt number two coming at you. That's attempt number two right there.
Oh my gosh, we actually did it. Oh, what? On the third attempt? Hello? Oh, my heart is racing. Oh my god, we did it. No way. Oh my gosh, we actually... I didn't even know it was that low HP. We must have been destroying it the last part. Oh, oh, what? What just, who did, was it me? Did I do that? We, we did it. What? Yes, we did. Oh my gosh. No way. We can now buy treasure bags too. Oh, that's so amazing. There's so many upgrades I want to make. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm stunned. I'm literally, I don't know what to do with myself. What? Are we at the SDMG? Okay. Oh, what? I literally, I can't believe it. I can't. What do you do? What do you make? You make something pretty sweet, I bet. The Vortex Enchantment. Wow. Oh my goodness. Wow. So what does this do? Hang on. Double tap down to toggle stealth, reducing champion or chance for enemies to target you but slow the movement. When entering stealth, spawn a vortex that draws in enemies and projectiles while in stealth. Your own projectiles will not be sucked in. Wow. Dang. That's so cool. I love it. We also got the suspicious tentacle. We got the gravity globe, which is garbage, but I'm pretty I'm sure it's yeah. I'm sure it's used for something really awesome. Oh, I'm, I'm literally shaken. I don't know what to do with myself. We also have 199 Luminite. What? Then the Galactic Globe. What do you get made for again? Oh, yeah, Heart of the Elementals. Oh, we can make this except for we just need the Ice Queen crown. Or no, we need the Pumpkin Cape and the Saucer Control. And then we can make the Heart of the Eternals. Oh, I think we should do that first. Wow, this whole episode has changed my life. I can't believe we did that that quickly. All right, let's make some Luminite. Um, how much Luminite bars can we make? So, Luminite. Is there anything particular that we could make with just the ore? I don't think so. I just want to make sure I'm not turning into anything. Okay, cool. So, we just need to make all the bars we can. We can make almost 50 bars. I'm pretty sure that's enough for armor. Uh, solar armor. I'm just going to check how many bars we need. So, we need 8, 24, and that's 36. We need 36 bars for armor. So, we can get another set of armor. Oh, my gosh. Which one do we do? I think we do the mage armor, right? Solar armor is pretty awesome. Oh, there's so much I want to do. Okay, so we need to make the Crucible of the Cosmos. I know that for sure. Crucible of the Cosmos. Okay, so we need 25 bars. And we would have 24 left over. So this is the first thing that we need to do. I think despite the armor. Let me see if I can buy a bag. Oh, look at that. A traveling merchant. What do you sell us? Nothing good? Perfect. Time to bag you up. Boom. Oh, and I got a demolitionist. Can I? There you go. There you go, buddy. Can I buy the treasure bag before? Because I, if I make if I make the armor first, then we'll have a better time with Moonlord. Shop changer modded. No, what am I doing? Vanilla treasure bags? Yeah, this one. It's four platinum. Honestly, not bad at all. We got the crystal staff, which is sick. And I kind of want to buy it. Let's get another one. Why not? Is there something in particular we want? Oh, the last prism. Oh, we totally need the last prism. V last prism versus lunar flare uh last prism for sure let's go ahead and oh but it consumes the treasure bag so i don't get any illuminite oh let's just hope we get lucky what we get oh me i you know what if it was 1.4 i wouldn't be ha or i wouldn't be too sh uh mad about that but because it's not 1.4 i really don't care for that weapon at all <laughs> all right so we should have enough luminite for everything now man i could spend all my time buying those bags no problem 97 bars incredible so what do we need for the crucible for the crucible of the cosmos we have that we have that we have this that bookcase good um crystal ball we have auto hammer blendomatic i believe oh we don't have a blendomatic what how do we not have a oh wait no no we do i was like what i've made asphalt meat grinder somehow we don't have that uh i'm sure i've just sold it accidentally steampunk boiler i'm sure that's purchased from the steampunk we have one of those. Okay, so we have everything except meat grinder, steampunk boiler, and the flesh cloning vat, which I believe is the mechanic. Am I mistaken? Yes. Is it steampunker? I know somebody sells it. I've seen it before. I've seen it with my eyes. Let's go ahead and uh, shop around and let me see if I can find it. Oh, perfect. So we have the steampunker boiler and the flesh cloning vat, whatever that thing is called. And then I think I'm just going to kill... The, uh, I think it's, uh, the Brenna Cthulhu 
uh, sells the, uh, or like the crates that the, uh, the brand of Cthulhu. Oh my gosh. Let me regather my thoughts. Sorry. I'm still, still shaking from the wind earlier. I guess I can, uh, hide this, uh, counter real quick. So the crates that are found by killing the brain of Cthulhu should give us the, um, the thing that we need, the meat grinder or whatever it's called. So I'm going to go ahead and buy one of those. I'm going to do the overloader, I think. So let's talk to this person. We got pre-hard mode, red spine. Oh, that's the deviance curse. I was like, is that just uh, the material for it? No. Okay, so what's the closest one? Probably, I mean, it's, it's definitely that way, right? For a demon altar. Do we? I keep thinking there's one over here. I swear there was at one point. But this is all getting corrupted, so we need to actually be careful. Look at that. That's all corrupted right here. Oh my goodness. That's terrifying. So I'm going to go ahead and find a uh, demon altar real quick, and we'll be right back with that. Right. So the brainstorm has been achieved. I just realized that we could have made a celestial sigil like with this, and that would have been absolutely terrifying. So let's go ahead and make sure our summons or whatnot. This should be really easy, but I just want to do this just in case. Maybe maybe it's not going to be super easy. I have no idea. All right, we're ready. Oh my gosh, look how many there are. I love it. Oh, so fantastic. Are they all dead? Did we do it? Oh, does it only give us the bags? I thought, do the crates drop with the bags? Oh shoot, they don't. Oh, well, that's a waste of time. Okay, so we just need to kill them individually. Well, dang it. Because I was like, oh, I forgot about that. Well, that's a bummer. But that's all right. I understand. I get it, game. I'm going to... I guess we, this is a good way of making money. Because we're going to get loads of money. Oh, wait. Can I make that into a meat grinder? Oh, no. Just a bone rattle. All right. Never mind. All right. Yeah. I'm going to work on selling all this stuff. And I'll be back in just a moment. Oh, my goodness. So, we just spawned in 10 automatically oh that was amazing wow that looked awesome okay can we get more where are all our crates there should be five per i or brain of confusion brain of cthulhu there we go so there should at least be 50 crates right five per 10 brain of uh Thulus. am i missing i'm missing 10 what the garbage what's going on here they were all right here did they fall below me am i going crazy i guess i'm going crazy what? That can't be true. It would show the bags if I missed any. Do we have eight bags or ten bags? We only have eight bags. But I bought ten of these. All right. Well, I guess I wasted some money. Not a problem. <laughs> Back to our uh, little selling, making money, and also looking for a meat grinder grind. Let's do that. This is like kind of like Terraria Lottery all over again. I kind of want to open all these up and then sell everything from there. Look at all the brain of Cthulhu's. Oh, my gosh. Or Brains of Confusion? Is that what they're called? I don't even know anymore. The Brain of Confusions, yeah. We got masks, tissue samples, gutted hearts. Wow. And that is a platinum worth of that. We should be able to get it, right? I think so. Brain, no, hunt, no, no, no. I don't need any of this. I have so much of these already. Let me see if I can just find it, locate it. Um, Man, we haven't gotten it yet. What? We didn't get it once? That's crazy. I gotta see how to make the meat grinder then. Wow, I'm so surprised. We didn't get it. Is this not the way to do it? Can I make the meat grinder? Oh, I wonder if I could have just combined the the crates for it. Oh, I need a floaty gross banner? Wait, but I don't have crimson. How do I... Wait, what? That's messed up. How do I do this? How do I get the crucible of the cosmos? Are there multiple recipes and it's not telling me? Crucible of the cosmos. No, there's not multiple recipes. I definitely need the meat grinder. And it's only dropped from those enemies. So it's not dropped from any corruption enemies. Do I have to go make a crimson biome? What? That seems kind of ridiculous. So finally, I've created a crimson biome. Now we can just sit here and farm and wait for a meat grinder. That took a little over 30 minutes to farm all of the, cause I had to get corruption seeds from the Ayakathulu, convert them to crimson seeds, then 
uh, do a bunch of hodgepodge garbage and get all this working together. Now, I, do, I don't even know if this is going to work properly because I need a specific type of entity to spawn in. Right? Because the meat grinder only spawns in... Oh, but we got a mechanical leash. Or we could make a mechanical leash, I think. Now we can make it. Yeah, yeah. I, I was looking at it because I accidentally got it when we were fighting Aikathulu, which we didn't get before. Now, I wish I would have gotten it when we actually fought Aikathulu. But I need a specific um, type of enemy, the floaty gross banner, or I could use the herplings, the crimson axe, or the crim slimes. I was thinking about making it underground, but to be honest, I don't really want the crimson to spawn in all that much. <laughs> so I'm just going to stay in this area, I would believe. So I gotta get back into my my actual area. Hang on, my actual crimson. It's just weird because like nothing's really spawning in. Oh come on, give it. Oh that's a pirate map. That's not the meat grinder. What are you doing, lad? Maybe if I spawn higher up in the air, like it'll work better. Like if I'm like staying right here, it'll spawn enemies in this area versus like down below us in the ocean. I'm not really sure, but I'm just gonna be farming this out. I wanted to show you my little crimson biome just so you guys could see it, just so you know where I got the meat grinder from. Because I'm pretty sure in 1.3.5, there's no way to get it other than doing this. We finally got it. So, hundreds of banners, two hours of farming, and we finally got 50 floaty grosses killed without a single meat grinder. That is absolutely insane. I mean, literally, thousands of enemies killed. Like, how many... We've killed 100 Icar stickers, um, 150, uh, 50 floaty grosses, and then we have like 400 like crim slimes or something like that. We've got so many enemies spawned. I decided to come down into the, um, over down here, use a, what is it, a blood moon to get purple dye because this isn't a crimson world, and then convert the crimson uh, or the purple dye to red dye, and then use that red dye to then. Uh, for the contaminator to do all this thing and be able to farm this out so that we can just kill 50 floater grosses because it was taking literally five ever. This is insane. I can't believe it's taking this long. Okay, so let's keep that together. Let's do that. I think we have everything that we would want and let's go ahead and go home. Oh my goodness, that took five ever. I can't believe it. Like, come on, this, there's gotta be a better way to do that. You know what I mean? Because, I mean, the drop weight, I mean, were we just a victim of RNG? Is that what was happening? Because that was unreal. I I don't want to dwell on it too much because I'll get angry again. But, jeez. Come on. All right. All of that to say, the only thing that was stopping us from making the crucible of the cosmos was a meat grinder. Are you, I, I'm, I'm still stunned. Are you, what? Ugh, we still can't make it. Oh wait, that's because we have everything in here. We need a demon altar too. So do we need an alchemy table? Oh yeah, because we do, we need this stuff. Dang it. Because uh, I was thinking we could make it at an alchemy table. Maybe if I just buy one real quick. Who sells it? Is it you? Do you sell the alchemy table? I think you sell it at night or something. It doesn't matter. So we'll go ahead and grab all those things. We'll make sure that we just head over to a... Uh, one of the, one of the um, demon altars. That'll be it. I can't believe we're finally crafting this thing after two hours of farming the crucible of the cosmos. Wow, it looks so cool. Love it. Oh my gosh, look at that. Who would have thought? Oh, I keep doing that. It's like the worst thing ever. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, look, uh, just one crafting station. That's all we need. Boom. <laughs> That does 5,263 damage. Oh my gosh, it's insane. All right. So basically, oh man, this is be such a short video. I've been recording for two hours. <laughs> 15 minutes was dedicated to Moon Lord. And then <laughs> two hours was dedicated to farming for the meat grinder. <laughs> this is like a five minute episode. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we, do we want to do more? Let's go ahead and do more. Let's go ahead and get the Heart of the Eternals. So we need to do, uh, we basically just need to fight, um, what's it called? The Pumpkin and the, um, the Saucer, right? Hey, we got it. Look at that. There's the second one. I'm going to skip past this then. Get me out of here. 
How do I do this? There we go. Hey, look at that. We bought two and we got one on the first try. The Daybreak, by the way. Uh, oh my gosh. Melee's doing way better than Mage, which is the Daybreak. Daybreak, we, we always knew the Daybreak was OP, but man. Is it cranking damage? No way. No wonder we killed Moonlord with the Daybreak. I should have known. Mage was our, was our only drawback. I actually never even made the mage weapon using the nebula fragments, which uh, one of you pointed out that like I should have been doing that, and I don't know. The tsunami was really crank of damage, and so was Betsy's Wrath. As soon as Betsy's Wrath was able to land a few times, like, Moonlord was dying, let me tell you. Okay, now that these are down. I, I just wanted these for the, for the gold, primarily. And look at that, a second one. Oh, shoot. We also need, oh, dang it. Oh man, shoot nuggets. <laughs> oh wait, did we get three? Oh no, we got two. I also need the uh, the gun. Why can't I think of it? Yeah, the gun. The machine gun, the laser rifle, for our apprentice one. I think that's the last thing I need. It's the only weapon, right? Oh man. I was really hoping we got like a trophy or something like that. Do sausage drop trophies? Let's make the heart of the eternal real quick. And then we'll continue farming for that. Heart of the Eternal. So what does it even do? Grants immunity to like a billion things. Increases damage, critical strike chance, and damage reduction by 5%. Increases flight time by 100%. You may periodically fire additional attacks depending on the weapon type. Your critical strikes inflict rotting and Betsy's curse. Press the fireball dash key to perform a short invincible dash. Grants effects of wet debuff while running cute fish on and gravity control. Summons a friendly super floco, mini saucer, and true Io Cthulhu. Wow. Are those pets? Like, do those also attack with me? Because that's pretty amazing. Um, does it have the all the debuffs of... Um, I was going to say the heart or the Deathbringer Fairy, but it doesn't. So, interesting. Hmm. I wonder what we'll use that for. We also never made the Pure Heart, and I'm pretty sure the Pure Heart is made for something else as well. So, we'll craft this. I think we'll use it in place of the Beetle Armor? Maybe because of the flight time, you know? Like, or we do Deathbringer Fairy. Or it also has a dash. Or it could even go against our Shinobi Infantrator enchantment. But, hmm. I think, I think we'll use it instead of the, uh, the Beetle enchantment. Let's go ahead and fight this a few more times. Unfortunately, we have to. Because I want that laser machine gun. Oh, what drops the laser machine gun? Can we make it by chance? We can... And we need a Martian saucer. It is a Martian saucer. Okay, just making sure. Wanted, wanted to make sure it wasn't like another enemy. All right, so we'll go ahead and shop and buy another one of these. And we'll be good to go. Finally. Oh my gosh. The time that we get the trophy and we get the laser machine gun. Oh my gosh. So annoying. I think we have every other weapon, so we don't even need the trophy anymore. But hey, we'll use it as a nice uh, display. Look at that. Boom, a mark of our honor. All right, with this, I believe this is gonna be the last thing that we're gonna make. And then we'll end the episode here. So what is it called? Soul, oh my, what? Arc wizard soul, what am I? Oh, I'm missing the celestial magnet. Gosh dang it, I forgot about that. Oh my gosh, do I wanna spend time? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh shoot. Okay, we still got him. I accidentally used a, uh, <laughs> my sundial thinking we didn't have a traveling merchant with us yet today. Oh my gosh, that, oh, that scared me. I thought we had wasted an, uh, an opportunity. So we only need one more traveling merchant, I believe. Let me see. Let me make sure we have two at least. We do have two. Now, um, Saeed, the guy who's been wall texting us this entire series, which has been so helpful, let us know that you can make um, traveling merchants, but I, I could not find it. Um, merchant, like, there's no way for me to make him. So, apparently, like, you can make NPCs. Maybe, maybe if I look that up. Let me use Bones. So, Bones, what do you make? See, they don't make any NPCs, and I'm wondering if there's, like, a special crafting that I'm missing. Um, but let me, like, the recipe browser shows us anything that can make out of that and I just don't see any NPCs so I don't think that's necessarily true but I don't know maybe I'm wrong 
I, I could be. I just don't know how. So if you guys are looking at me and going, hey, Cargo, this is the way you do it, then let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to be waiting for a, a third traveling mer merchant. Oh my gosh. I don't know what's wrong with me. All right. So we're now at the three hour mark of recording and I have yet to get another traveling merchant. So I was using my portable sundial to like set reset the days, like using the right click function, which acts like a normal sundial um, to see if we could get a traveling merchant in that time. We didn't. I thought, you know what? Maybe I'm actually like messing this up by um, by using this sundial. So I waited out a few days and whatnot. Still didn't get a traveling merchant. And then I was like, oh, wait, the top hat squirrel. Doesn't he resell like uh recipes or like and uh, accessories and stuff like that if you have it in your inventory tried that couldn't find it try the tinker can't get the celestial magnet only can get it from the traveling merchant and we just need we literally just need one more so i will just have to save that for another day i believe i just don't have time to record anymore if there's another way that you guys know of then let me know but i'm so excited to see all of your recommendations for new accessories things that you would like to see get used, things that you thought would be good. I'm totally up to change classes too. Obviously, found out Mage is not the best class, or not only the best class, like there's a lot of great things that you can do with everything else. So I'd be up for it. Let's, let's check it out, why not, you know? Well, thank you all so much for watching. If you haven't already, Skelly Man Hand, slap that like button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. Otherwise, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.